Progressive People's Party is advocating an amendment of the 1992 Constitution, insisting parts of the document in its current state does not serve the aspirations of citizens. At a news conference here in Accra, the party indicated the winner takes all, for instance, cannot be sustained by the country after the 2024 general elections. President John Evans Atamils on January 11, 2010, acting in accordance with Article 278, Subsection 1 of the Constitution, appointed a commission of inquiry into matters of public interest, inaugurated the CRC to review the 1992 Constitution with the Constitution Review Commission of Enquiry Instruments 2010 C-164. The CRC was tasked to collate the views of Ghanaians on which provisions of the 1992 Constitution required amendment, but since the Commission completed its work, the reviews and the report are yet to be implemented. And so we have to re-echo them and remind the people that these amendments are very, very essential for the rapid development of the country. Election of MMDCs. Number two, <clears throat> strict separation of powers, which ensure that if you are an M MP, you cannot become a minister. And if you are a minister, you cannot become an MP. Number three, uh, depoliticization of the Attorney General's office, such that the Minister of Justice becomes separated from the Attorney General. And we have an independent Attorney General who will be the lawyer for the people. Then we have a lawyer for the government, which is the Minister of Justice. In that situation, then political corruption can be uh, prosecuted. This, the executive director of the Progressive People's Party, Richard Ama, insists that the party will go all out to see changes effected and December 7 declared fix the Constitution Day. If you give me the power and these rules are there, I'll behave just like the, the current president is behaving. Okay, so every politician wants the law to, repay, to remain the way it is. But we are saying that, look, the people of Ghana, don't allow the politicians to use the law that way. Let's demand that they make that change. When Ghanaians begin to ask anyone who comes to them to campaign whether you support this matter or not, the people will think twice and when they get into power, they will actually change.